Hi, I'm Josh with Tactical Tech, and today I've got my sister's computer on tap here. And uh, what I want to do is uh, something nice for her for Christmas. She's a big Steelers fan for some odd reason. I, I don't know, don't ask. And uh, what I want to do is take this uh, start orb on her computer desktop and convert it over into the Steelers logo right here. Now, in order to do that and carry out this task, I'm going to need three different applications. Uh, the first one is going to be Resource Tuner, or you could substitute with something called Resource Hacker. In this case, this is a little more user-friendly. Uh, you're going to need Photoshop, of course, and you're also going to need a program called Alpha Image Converter. In addition to these programs, you're going to need a three patch DLL files which I already have pre-downloaded and I'll put in a link down at the bottom here. And these three uh, patch DLL files will replace uh, some DLL files in your System32 directory under Windows. But being that Vista is extremely locked down in its Windows directory, uh, we basically got to take ownership of this and then we got to take permission over it so we can actually overwrite the file. Uh, so in order to do this, uh, I go to each one of the three files, and I suggest just do this for each one of the three files due to security reasons. Right mouse click it, go to properties, go to security tab, go to advanced, and go to owner, and just change the owner to, or I'm sorry, go to edit, continue, and eventually we'll get to this place where we can change the owner over to our user account, which in this case is Tiffany, my sister, not my name. Go to OK. Go to OK. And uh, then we can go in here and actually change the permissions for Tiffany and give her absolute full control. You want to do the same with your user account, whatever the name might be. Go to OK, OK, and do it for the next three items as well. I've already done it before, so I ain't going to worry about it. What you want to do with this file here is just copy and paste, and basically make a backup copy. I'm just going to change this extension and everything to be .old, because that's the way I like to do things. Once you get the permissions changed for each one of these files and uh, a backup copy made in the same directory let's go ahead and select all three of these files and drag drop them over and replace them once they've been replaced you're gonna have to re reboot your computer for them to take effect which in this case I've already done it before so I'm not gonna reboot my computer but you're gonna have to sorry uh, the next thing you're going to have to do is go to resource, resource Tuner. And what you're going to be looking for is that file related to this Start button. And that happens to be, if we go to File, Open File, go to the Windows Directory, under Resources, Themes, Arrow, you pull up Arrow.msStyles, and continue there. This is just free trial for me. Maybe I'll buy it later and it brings up pretty much everything within that MS Styles file and what we're looking for is image and image number 872 should look like this have the three different orb types that are present when you aren't doing anything with the button on top hovering over the button in the middle and pressing the button at the bottom what we want to do is right mouse save the resource and save it over in our working directory which mine happens to be on my personal computer so once we got it in our working directory the next thing we want to do is open up alpha image converter and we're going to change the format to this uh, to bitmap and take this PNG file the one we copied over in the working directory and all that and all we're going to do is drag drop it into the window and it should create us a brand new bitmap file right here called 872.bitmap. We're going to go ahead and add in new just so we don't get confused later on. We want to ha go ahead and open this up in Photoshop now and we can use these buttons here probably in a separate 
Photoshop project file to create our new button which I already have here. Uh, you can see I got three different orbs in generally the same place that they were in the original image file. Uh, the first one's a medium, the second one's a little brighter, and the third one's a little darker. You may want to do something to distinguish between the three with yours too. Uh, but anyway, they're done. Copy. I ain't going to go into Photoshop in really too much. And what I'm going to do is just paste this over top and try to line it up as best I can with the original orbs. After that, I'm just going to select the background layer, hit the rectangle select, hold down the control button, right mouse click on the background, select background, and just delete it all out. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the paint bucket and ensure that I have the black paint and you want to make sure that the RGB is all zeros all the way across. Go ahead and paint in there. File, save as. And you're going to be saving this as a bitmap file. We'll make it new too. And save. You want to make sure it's a 32 bit. Go to OK. And we got it over here. We'll just drag drop it. Oops. Hold on tight. One quick. Uh, change this uh, drop down target format to PNG. And then drag drop it over there. And it looks like it worked out here. And of course, uh, the gray and white checkers means it's transparent. So I'm done with the alpha image converter. Now I gotta basically take that PNG file and load it into here. So all I do to do that is actually let's go to the Windows directory first, or the resource directory. Themes arrow. And we want to basically make a backup file of this. So just copy, paste and that's good enough for now. I got a couple other backup files for other reasons. Uh, you probably won't see these initially. So, And just back in Resource Tuner, just go ahead and double click on 872, hit this uh, Open Source File button, and navigate to your uh, working directory and choose that PNG file that we created, the new number 2. Go to Open, go to OK, yes, and then we get a file save. And let's see if this works. Yes, I do. Okay. And it overwritten in the arrow MS styles. Created a backup file for you automatically, but you still want to make one on your own just in case it fails or whatever. Double click on it. Choose Vista Basic. Go to Apply. And then you got Steeler's start button, so there you go. Now I want to show you real quick why you can't save it as a transparent PNG in Photoshop. Believe me, I spent like half my life yesterday trying to figure out why the hell it wasn't working for me. So uh, let me go ahead and change this real quick to a backup file of some sort and I'll show you exactly why it didn't work. See when you save it as a PNG file in Photoshop Direct it gives you this ugly white background around it because it doesn't save the PNG file in the right format. Uh, I read a little bit online it had something to do with Alpha Channel and a whole bunch of other stuff I don't know jack about so uh, you do need this alpha converter which was extremely difficult to find but fortunately I left a link on the bottom for you guys to follow. So that pretty much sums up the tutorial. Thank you very much and uh, have fun with Resource Tuner. There's a lot of other cool stuff you can do with it and have a nice day.